In this video here I'm going to take a look at how to set up and draw a lean-to roof detail. So a few important details before we start off. Uh, very important in the, this detail is the roof ventilation, which can be achieved in a couple of different ways here shown in the picture. Here we have uh, a soffit vent and an ease ventilator. You can see there is an old detail here where there's a cavity closure of a block crossing the cavity which is no longer in use. And then the other alternative is to have insulation here and a vent. Insulation completely closing over the eaves part and the vent providing the ventilation at the bottom part of the lean-to and then at the top we have one of these vent slits or vent tiles depending on which detail you're using and shown here and you can see there's an under cloak detail as well to where it meets up to the, the vent and we have our step DPC and we have our flashing here as well to the under cloak flashing and uh, the cover flashing and, and a step DPC into the wall that it's going into. Here's a three dimensional view which is quite good for understanding what's happening here. You can see that uh, where the rafters leaned up against the wall is fitted here with uh, ridge board and it's fitted into the wall you can see there's a nice little detail with a small piece of timber on that and your felt detail and your under cloak flashing and um, your cover flashing shown as well too and your step DPC and it shows a brick finish above where the the cover flashing is as well and our wall detail here with the insulation on it so that should give us a good understanding of what we're about here In addition to this here we see a few pictures of porticos which are really kind of small porches where because they only extend out a meter max and uh, you can get away with uh, lighter details in this here. Again just a similar thing that's done here we see where there's a sill of a window showing uh, the lead. Uh, can it be if it's covering over a distance of more than 1.5 meters uh, it must be overlapped and normally overlapped in the direction of whatever way the prevailing rain or wind would normally be. So another little bit added on to the detail here. In the book uh, there's a good enough detail shown here as well too. A lot of the stuff is very similar to what we've looked at already. The big difference here uh, being that there is a cavity closure and the vent tile is or vent, yeah, it's a vent tile I think it's a, a shown here at the top. Uh, it can be done in slate or tile detail and a lot of the details that we've covered earlier in the slate and or tile indeed uh, have been covered already. So on the right hand side of the sheet I'm going to set up my cavity wall which I'm going to have the roof lean to. I measure over a distance of 1.5 meters and set up uh, my eaves detail here with the, uh, with the wall plate and I can go about drawing a pitch of 30 degrees, use the one third rule for the rafter and uh, draw it up to meet the wall and we can insert the ridge board and the detail that I'm going to use here uh, is for a slated roof. I've already covered the details in slating if you want to go back over those again it'd be a good opportunity to do so. The additional things that I'm putting in here I'm putting in a service cavity which is 60 millimeters in depth which will have insulation in it and you can see just under the pen there is a uh, a galvanized joist hanger which would be fitted against the wall because it's only 1.5 meters out uh, to the wall plate it's a very short span so a joist hanger would be more than ample for carrying the, the weight of the of the joist into there but it could be built into the wall as well I'm making these battens that are used for the slating a little bit bigger just to kind of highlight the detail that will be used in the slating and it's gone through pretty speedily there but the the details have been already covered in a video so if you need to look back over the, the slate and detail in the video uh, it would be well worth your while. And it's a good practice as well too for drawing the, the slate and detail to have a go at drawing it on a abutment or roof or a lean-to roof. So just a matter of sticking in some of the details then associated with uh, all the different parts here. So your examinations will be marked on elements being placed into this here so the more you can include in this here the better to make sure that you hit what elements that they are looking for. Usual details like uh, that have been covered before with your insulation, your blocks, uh, 
cervus cavity, felt, tilt and fillet, fascia, even though I don't have the full tilt and fillet labeled in here. Um, all shown here. Just take a look back at, at any of those details. If it asks for something specific in, in the question, you should be addressing that there as well too with the details that are shown. So take a look back through the slate in detail or a tile detail could be used for this as well. And uh, good practice to have a go at drawing the finishing of the abutment detail and the lead flashings as well too are well worth taking a pause and look at those the way that they're arranged as well.